Hello everybody, it's Bangor the Assassin back for Legend of Zelda Uber Challenge Episode 5. And just to recap the last episode, we just finished the first half of Lord Jabu Jabu, which is the third dungeon. And we skipped the second dungeon, doing two glitches. One getting the golden scale before anything else really. And then we also did a glitch to get to Jabu Jabu without using a bottle. So now I move on here to do the mini boss. And then she goes flying up in the air, and I never have to deal with her ever again for the rest of the freaking. Well, I see her a couple of times, but no more carrying around, which is great. And this thing, which apparently looks like an octopus. Alright, time to start the mini boss. And gotta love the graphics. Look, you can see halfway through the wall. So my strategy has always been since I've been since I've been a kid, is just whack the boomerang at him until he turns the other way. Right, and then the one time I swing it is the one he's running away. Okay, let's see this here. Do some awesome side running here, and come on, get him! Yeah. <laughs> Yelling makes it go farther. Ah. No, okay, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Jump slash. Yes, got him. Okay, and now it comes charging at me again. And I stun him. And when he gets stunned, he turns blue. And a random open green hole. Not going to ask. And he's dead. Just like that. Two hits. That wasn't very hard. Hmm. I remember you used to have lots of troubles trying to get that guy. As a kid. Man. Good times, though. Alright, so now I can just wander off on my own and do whatever the hell I want. Don't have to worry about Princess Rudo. Thank God for that. But I do have to worry about these red slime things. That's a pain in the butt. And I fail at jumping. Oh, my gosh. For some reason, Link did not want to jump. Alrighty. So I stunned that guy. And then I have to stun this guy again. Oh, man. I forgot to mention that I'm dodging these, like, popcorn, like, rocks. And almost done. Just got to lower this platform. And if only you could hear it, it sounds like a mechanical platform inside of a fish. Oh, my gosh. Still can't get over that. But yeah, um, this episode, people, I forgot to mention, just features the second half of Lord Jabu Jabu and like a little bit of a, how I say, video, contact, uh, context, whatever, you know what I'm saying. Um, just some dialogue and some videos of, you know, Princess Ruto talking and stuff like that. But this episode is a little bit more jam-packed than last episode just because a lot more fish is the fry now that I have my boomerang, no pun intended. And then there's a spider in here. Um, yeah, I don't even know how many I have left, but I almost getting to uh, 20, I think, is what I need. Oh, look at that jump. Looks like I'm diving, Superman style. Um, but yeah, very jam-packed because, you know, I did the mini boss, which was, you know, epic fight, even though... It was only two hits and he was gone. But it also features the boss, final boss. So anyone watching, I'm sure, is pretty uh, pretty familiar with this game. So no, they, they'll know how it's like. But you'll get to see me play it. And I tried jumping off the edge, but I guess I just accidentally crawl off. And Lincoln is jumping. Never fun. All right, time for the final boss. Personally, one of my favorite bosses as a kid. It's not like I have that many to choose from anyway. And it's a jellyfish. Electric jellyfish. Or electric jellyfish. Electric columns. Oh wait. It's all one thing. They all combine to form... Du -du 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 Barnade. Bioelectric anomony. I can't even say that. All right, time to own this boss. So first, you start off by slicing off its tentacle thingies that attach it to the ceiling. 
which in reality doesn't make things any easier because it just makes him angry and you'll see why it was a bad idea to uproot him. So, like a noob, I keep getting jellyfish individually. The reason being is because ever since I was a kid, I always thought that you had to get them first, and I did not realize that... Oh, fail throw. I did not realize that even... Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that even if you just stab them in the middle right there, it gets rid of uh, the jellyfish there too. So I stun them again, this time being smart, and I get that one. And then, time for part three. It's a little difficult to get through. Boomerang keeps getting deflected off of nothing, and I... I accidentally collect myself a heart. Alrighty, come on. Boomerang, go through. Go right through. Oh, and then I get smoked in the face. Owned. Come on. Oh, and now he starts to uh, give in. And then I completely miss because I try Z targeting, then I Z target away. So now I have to get these jellyfish while dodging electric beams of lightning. Holy crap. Alrighty, come on. Bam. Just zoom. Aha, there we go. Bam. Ding. Kerplofflerfloff. There we go. Okay. Oh, and I get shot. It's a good thing it's only half a heart. So far, the bosses aren't too bad that they can one shot me, so I'm still good. And now I just have to dodge bolts of lightning until he gets up again. There we go. And this is the reason why I shouldn't have uprooted him, because now he's flying all over the place. Literally running around, shooting these things. Oh, hitting me a couple of times. All right, come on. You can see the green blood coming down. You know I almost got him. Almost got him. Bam, dodge, dodge, dodge. Lightning, lightning, lightning. All righty. I mean, while during this whole time, Navi's just going, hey, listen, listen, hey, I want you to listen to what I have to say about this guy. To be perfectly honest, I don't think I've ever gone to see what uh, Navi said about this guy. And there we go. We beat him. Or rather, I beat him, because there's no one here except me. And then you guys watching. But it's weird how this guy dies, because he just swells up, blows up an hour later his skin, swells up again, and then turns into green mush. Kind of a weird corpse. Very gory. It's okay. To completely avoid the heart piece because I'm not supposed to get them. Always supposed to have only three hearts. And then I find this person. Oh, you. You're late. Oh. Why is she crying? Because she is a wuss. And might I point out she's not wearing any clothes. Again. I think I pointed that out last episode. Man. My memory's not doing so well. Everything turns white, and look who's in my face. Boom. Oh, man. Scary as hell. Fall back into water. Ah, yes. So I'm just floating in water, not doing anything. Looked cooler than I thought. <laughs> yeah. What was cooler? Me not getting the heart piece, or me picking you up and throwing you against bubbles and using you to open switches. Yes, of course. No, I mean the, the spiritual stone of awesome. That's what I wanted. Husband. Oh, so, okay. Let me get this straight. You're a fish, and Link here, me, I'm elf slash human. I think just elf. And you're going to be my fiancé? Please tell me how this works. This does not work. And she called this calls this an engagement ring. It's not even a ring. It's like a it's just an amulet. Like I can't even use this for anything. I just use it to turn into an adult later. I might point out one thing here though. Despite all what the text says here, it still only notices that I have two and it's still you'll see what I'm saying here. Only one to go. Usually at this point, it's like, oh, you've got all three, and you should go to the temple. But the game notices you only have two, so it's funny how the game mechanics work there. And all right, so I'm done the third dungeon. So now I have to make my way up to Zelda, and I have to learn Zelda's lullaby, and which is one of the few songs I ever learn. 
only because you need to use it so many times for up throughout the game. And uh, that concludes it. Concludes this episode. Um, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I really, uh, really appreciate anyone really watching this thing and just taking the time to kind of see me go through all of this. Hopefully soon I'll get my recorder back from my buddy and I'll start recording uh, the rest of this. And we'll see how far I can get.